loves it's tuesday night and the first night of a brand new meals vlog and i feel no shame at all in this being a very typical college dinner <laughs> this evening if you saw last week's meals vlog you you're very aware of the plethora of stuff we had and um some of it very rich and we ate out twice for reasons that you'll see um and i just said to jay today i really want tin spaghetti and chips I get these cravings sometimes and I think it's from being a young lad yeah I mean it's it is it's a typical college dinner it's a it's a it's an evening meal that doesn't require a huge amount of thought when you just want to just be like oh it's just a air fryer and a tin straightforward enough did you say these sausages that we haven't had them before we haven't had them before these these are the Richmond barbecue vegan sausages oh. uh, they've been in the freezer for a while so I thought right let's have them and I've also added some um, cherry tomatoes to my spaghetti because yeah. I love to do that so let's have a taste okay. promise oh. mm. slightly hot doggy actually because the yeah. The the barbecue flavour gives it a bit of a hot dog vibe. But I'm it's not, I'm not getting a lot of barbecue flavour. No, but it does it it has a it doesn't have a hot dog texture, it has the typical Richmond vegan sausages texture, but it's got a slight hot dog vibe, I feel. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Anyway, this is gonna get smashed. Um because I'm right in the mood for it. A couple of slices of bread and butter, I might even get some mayonnaise. Yeah, mayonnaise for this <laughs> meal, meal. That's just how I feel today. Feed your inner child when they want feeding. Because they obviously need it for some reason. So, baby Paul, your food's coming, love. I'll go and get you some mayo. And you lot, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Wednesday night, of course. The second night of our uh, usual weekly meals vlog. And it's a veg fest tonight. These are the um, Island Delight veg pasties. Um, is it is it Jamaican style? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. So these one, they they're much better. Honestly, the spicy veg ones are absolutely gorgeous. But the veg ones are lovely, and they've had them in Heron for a while boxes of four so i've cracked open one of them tonight and i've done uh vegetable rice so i started off with some julienne carrot some very thinly sliced white cabbage uh the last of our savoy cabbage shredded um and started frying all that up in the pan then i added some peas and then a little bit later i added a uh, tomato um, just for a bit of moisture all this while I was cooking a separate pan of brown rice and once the brown rice was done usually about 25 minutes I added it to the wok with the stir fried veg then I did a very thinly scissor cut uh, finger chilli and here we are veg fest but a bit more interesting than just a load of veg yeah well we love a rice with veg don't we we do love a rice with veg and with salt pepper and a bit of cholula on the side bread and butter of course i mean come on come on now <laughs> um so yeah uh do you ever do a veg rice yourself like you know like i just described fry off some veg separately and cook your rice separately and then bring the two together it's proper lovely you know isn't it, promise? It's gorgeous, yeah. I tend to find, uh, in my experience over the years, that with the packet rices, because obviously you can get packet rices, veg rice, dirt cheap now in, you can. in a lot of supermarkets, there's never enough veg in there. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's very nice to do it yourself and put um, put your own veg in there. Mm -hmm. So, um, so there you go. It's a simple one tonight, my loves. Uh, we're just watching the NASA update. Oh, we are space junkies. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there you go. It's Island Delight Veg Pasty, clearly marked vegan, and homemade vegetable rice with uh, with veg and rice. Funnily enough. Hey! <laughs> okay, we'll get tucked in. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Thursday night. Kind of want to do a yay. Yay! Even though we've not worked all week. 
um, it's a random one tonight and it's a kind of use up meal so you might remember the bean burgers that we got from farm foods well I've, I'd heard that they weren't mightily tasty so I thought do you know what I'll greek them up so they're on a bed of spinach and tomato uh, with a bit of ketchup and mayo on top of that then the bean burger then some Dijon mustard and some of the via life greek style cheese to um whack on top of it fancy just like that um are they mccain those waffle fries or no the leon leon waffle fries some vfc um nuggets dippers dippers popcorn chicken yeah little bit of tomato and olive on the side and a tin of black eyed beans that I rinsed off and then put some tomato puree uh, some chilli, some garlic some, you know, all bits and just to make oh and smoked paprika so it's a random one tonight Cholula on standby, of course it's going to uh, be a tasty one though for sure, yeah I like your barrier that you've created as well. I yeah, well, I didn't, want, I didn't want to get the bean juice onto the uh, burger. Yeah, so I appreciate that. Well, no, yeah. It's going to be lovely. Okay, well, shall we embark? Yeah, yeah, anything you want to say? No, I was going to say, we've not had the burgers before, have we? But no, do you want to have a bite? But, uh, can, can you can't really do a taste test with the burger, can you? I mean, you can, you can take a little bit off the edge. Just like, but it's going to have mustard on it, isn't it? What? Mm, we've got a little bit of it. Mmm, mustardy. <laughs> <laughs> nice texture, actually. Beanie. Yeah, but it's it's definitely, obviously, it's a veggie burger. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. So. But yeah, it's nice. Well, for that price, I'm not knocking it. Exactly. So, burger, popcorn, chicken, waffle fries and smoky beans. And a bit of salad so we feel posh. That's Thursday night with the TVG boys. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Friday night and the boys have had a busy day today. Haven't we? We've been down at um, Plaza getting stuff sorted. Yeah. Ready for, for handing the keys back. Um, and I, I had some of the honestly tasty Chamembert left. I had about a sixth of a block of the French style round from Aldi. Oh yeah, yeah. And I had about, uh, probably about a sixth of a block again of Violife, because uh, we used some on our burger last night. So I've made a, um, I've made a very posh macaroni. <laughs> very posh indeed. I've made, mixed all the cheeses with some plant milk in a pan, made it into a sauce, added some chopped spinach, some garden peas and then at the last minute some chopped up some sun dried tomatoes into it delightful to give it a bit more flavour we had no garlic bread so I've cut open a muffin <laughs> we had no fresh garlic so I've mixed some garlic powder with margarine <laughs> buttered them and put them in the air fryer because I will not be denied well, it shows where our heads have been at, or should I say, more importantly, your head's been at, because we have actually been to the supermarket today. I know, and I've, it's, my, my head's not in the game at the moment. Do you want to taste? I'm, I'm, I'm happy to taste. I've already peppered mine. I case, see, I know. see. People can tell the difference. The chamembert, by the way, there'll be chamembert skin in there, because I just put the, I cut it up in little pieces and put it all in. Mm. The whole thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it just a nice cheesy pasta? It's really nice, yeah. Lovely. Oh, good. Not excessively cheesy. No, just mild and cheesy with some spinach, peas and tomato as well. So, fabulous. There you go. Another thrown together meal by the Burge. <laughs> eaten by the Burge and the Brom. <laughs> uh, I'll get my salt and pepper on now and um, get to it. Oh, yeah. I just another mouthful. It's lovely. <laughs> Very posh macaroni cheese, don't you know? <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Saturday night, and we're having uh, yet another random combination of things. So we picked up these today. Haven't seen them before, but they were yellow stickered in Sainsbury's, and so I thought, well, 
Well, Jason spotted them. I did, yeah, with vegan cheese alternative, 25% spinach, 5% protein, vitamin B12 and iron. I know, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. So they were 189, not much of a saving from 260. But um, still, they were cheaper than they would have been. So I've done a tomato couscous, which is, I've just done a uh, homemade couscous. And the water part I mixed a good heaped tablespoon of tomato puree into, which was from the fridge. So then I put that water back in the microwave to heat it up. Yeah. Um, and added some sun-dried tomato pieces to it. So it's a sun-dried tomato uh, couscous. And this here fillet from uh, Vivera. Spinach and uh, vegan cheese alternative. Mm. Are you um, are you having a test? Uh, yeah, I can have a little test. Are you gonna, are you gonna join me? I'm gonna try. So normally these should be 260, which is still a very reasonable price, isn't it? Yeah. You know, let's have a little, little buy. Yeah. Yeah. A little buy and see. Mmm. Not bad. Nice and crunchy. Yeah, lovely crunch. I was expecting them to be a little bit more flavoursome. But maybe that's just me, I don't know about you. Yeah, they're not packed with flavour. I can taste vegan cheese and I can taste spinach, and that's all it's purporting to be. Yeah, it's subtle. It says it's... plant spinach fillet. Yeah. Nice, though. No, yeah, I agree, actually. And, uh, of course, we've got a, a mixed salad. You know what that means, don't you, kids? Is it time? It's time for the song, <laughs> Jason. Are we ready? It's the shitting of the salad. <laughs> it shit Very simple. Spinach, mixed leaves, red onion and uh, baby tomato uh, with uh, Sainsbury's own French-style dressing. Uh, be good to yourself. Which is actually uh, quite delicious and very fresh tasting. Sometimes we have balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil. Other times we have this. There you go. A couple of slices of bread and butter couple of uh, episodes of Voyager. Jobs are good and sorted. Saturday night tea. In me face. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Sunday night. And if you happened to join us on our live this afternoon in the kitchen, um, you will have seen us make this here pie, which is uh, cheese, onion and potato pie and you will already know that I said we were having it with mash and beans because we did that last time and it was gorgeous so that is what we're having right bye <laughs> <laughs> no it is a classic though it is a classic and you're right I mean it has come out better and we did the taste test um, earlier yeah uh, we tasted on the a bit on the live didn't we and the filling just... is beautiful it's yeah proper proper nice Possibly a little bit of Cholula in with the mash. Absolutely, we did that last time. If you've never tried, if you're a hot sauce person like what we are, uh, if you've never tried um, hot sauce uh, drizzled on your mashed potato, I'll show you how. Oh. I'll, I'll show you how. Oh, right now I'll show you how much I put on last time we did this. And it was honestly gorgeous. So I'm going for, this is just your classic Cholula. A bit on my beans as well. For I do like a hot sauce, Barbara. There we go. And there you go. Hot sauce and mash. <laughs> Homemade cheese and onion pie. Uh, tin of beans with a few pretentious tomatoes thrown in there. <laughs> Mersh potato without sauce. Bread and butter. Voyager at the ready. Salt, pepper and Cholula on standby. Wine and water. Barbara still down there unread, desperately shouting to me, Oi vey, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Why are you ignoring me? I'm busy, Barbara. I'll get to you soon, my darling. <sighs> and we're back to the dinner. <laughs> Bye, mash and beans. Eat, it's what's for dinner.
Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Monday night and the final night of this particular meals vlog. And I thought I'd, I knew I fancied tofu, but I've tried something different. This is a, a quick version of Korean style braised tofu. Nice. So you cut it in thick slabs like that, fry it until it's golden brown and then add the sauce which is like soy sauce, water, gochujang, garlic, I didn't put any sesame seeds in, spring onions, and um, we're having it with a uh, tilde coconut packet rice and some peas. Do you want to try it? I do, Jay, because I do. We, yeah. We've never, um, in fact let me cut myself a bit off as well. Can you manage? Yeah. yeah. There you go, Korean braised tofu. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Lovely flavours. That's delicious, isn't it? Mm hmm. You know what, as well? Sorry. <laughs> Just goes to prove that actually tofu can be quite quick at taking on flavour very yeah 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 because a lot of the time I know the whole thing around marinating it like overnight or whatever yeah but that's incredible yeah that's really nice I'll do a recipe vlog for this at some time at some point I'll perfect it first yeah much like I did with the cheese and onion pie on Sunday yeah so I'll do a recipe vlog for that as well at some point in the future uh, but this if you've never had Korean style braised tofu um, I shall I shall do a recipe vlog at some point in the future. Of course, we've got a slice of bread. Come on, come on now, <laughs> <laughs> and oh dear. some Cholula on the side. Uh, so there you go. To end this week's meals vlog, it's Korean style braised tofu, coconut rice, and peas. Cause why not? So bye, bye, loves. <laughs> Bye, loves. <laughs>